Hi, so if you want to make a Google form that sends uh, whatever the user, set, the user typed to your Discord server, then here's a little tutorial, I guess. Um, so create a new form. So there's a few reasons why you might want to do this. Maybe it's like an anonymous confession kind of channel, uh, or maybe like an anonymous mod report system. I don't know. Um, I originally, well, this method I originally found, uh, or originally was inspired by the verification system on my high school server, uh, but I wrote the code for this uh, myself. So I guess for this form, I'll just be like anonymous. It doesn't actually have to be anonymous. You could ask for the user ID, but they could always spoof it. Um, anonymous user, anonymous submission demo for video. And so I'll just make this like a paragraph response. And it'll be like, uh, what do you want to say? Something that's required. And then, so this is just a form. And so to actually send the Discord, um, well, I mean, whatever you typed here to Discord, you need to use some code, uh, programming magic. So yeah, I clicked on the three dots here and clicked on script editor, editor, and here it creates, it starts out with like this function. So you can just do a little copy paste from this code that I, link, I will link in the description and paste it here. Um, so I guess I'll first like go over what um, each of this does so you aren't like running some stranger's code. So I think I'll start at the bottom. At the bottom here, we have I make a function that creates a submit trigger. So this um, script app dot new trigger, it takes the name of this function. So this function gets called when this function gets run uh, by Google whenever someone submits the form. And so I'm like, okay, that's that's that function is the trigger. And whenever this form gets submitted, run that function. So in order to actually, so here's the, the list of triggers is here. Currently, it's empty. So if you want to create the, um, the trigger, I guess first you probably should save. So you can click save project or control S and then uh, select up here, create submit trigger and then click run. Oh yeah, it's also annoying. So you actually have to like uh, give it permissions. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, because you made this you made this app. It's not verified, so it's like this is sus. Um, but I'll, I'll allow all this. Cool. And now it's done. And we don't have to do anything anymore. Um, so that part is done. See, if you look at triggers, there is this trigger here. Um, that's cool. And so every time someone submits the form, this part gets run. Uh, we're not done yet, though. So um, up here, we need to create a webhook. Uh, that's just so that the, uh, the form can send the message to the Discord. So if you go to the server settings, um, let's see, integrations. Is it different? I don't remember it being like this. That's so weird. Uh, oh, you know why? It's because I don't have enough permissions on this server. Haha. Uh -huh. Maybe I have enough permissions on my own server. Uh, server settings, integrations. Yeah, here you can click, if you have the web manage webhooks permission, you can create a new webhook. New webhook. And then I don't care enough to, I would just call this bot that it's submit or demo. Um, and then I will send it and mute this. Um, so save the changes and then click copy webhook URL. That will copy the URL to paste in here to your clipboard at voila. Um, the webhook is set up, so then save, and then it should be done. So I can uh, preview, does that work? Hi.
Um, and so in executions, you want to make sure it's all working fine and dandy. You can see that a uh, log of every time uh, the trigger happens. So I submitted it once, so just one entry for handle submit. Um, and then there's also the create submit trigger that I ran a few minutes ago. Very cool. And if we go back to Discord, um, you can see that demo the bot has sent hi. Um, yeah. And so you can keep sending this. Submit. Uh, and yeah, this message gets sent. And you can see the new entry here. Very cool. It's even flashing. Google is cool. Um, I guess another cool thing is that you can do like bold happiness. You can do formatting like JavaScript const wow equals hello. Um, you can, if you want to use custom emoji, like I think, uh, yeah, here's some custom emoji. Um, you can put a backslash before it. You can also do this for like channel names, like mute this, I can put a backslash before it. And when you send it, it will give you these like angle brackets. And that's what you use to paste in here. And then when you submit it, voila, you can see the emoji shows up and the channel and also the JavaScript code and full text. Very cool. Uh, I don't know. I guess I can also show you how to make, customize it a bit more. So, um, I commented this out, but you can add like extra things like anonymous person. Um, you can also change, I don't know, you have to look this up, but you can change like the contents of the message that it sends. This is an anon message, save. Um, and so when you go back to the form, hi. You can see when it sends, see it says anonymous person here, that's the author, and then the content of the message that's not in this fancy box is up, uh, up here. And say if you want to like, maybe this is for like a private channel for only the moderators, and you, want, you have like another field, like uh, how are you feeling today? Good, okay. Um, then in here, so what this is doing, the code is doing is whenever you submit, um, it gets the first, or gets the like contents that a user put in here. But to this ambiguity between this first one and the second one, you need to pass in like the item. So that's what I did up here. This just gets the first item, the first question in the form. So presumably, I haven't tried this yet, but I think I can just do like well, MCQ for second, um, the second question, JavaScript is zero index, so it's item one. Um, and then down here, I can put uh, feeling is response, that get response for item. And here I can put my MCQ and I get the response. And then I can put like, I can include that in whatever it sends to Discord. So, some inner response. I'm feeling good, happy, submit. And then here, you can see that good shows up and happy shows here. Very cool, okay, bye.